this video, allow me to take a few minutes to discuss the 3D Connection device support in 3D Coat and demonstrate why it actually matters. Now this support has been available in 3D Coat for a number of years and surprisingly it is still not available in the competing applications. And it's rather odd because imagine if you had a clay model directly in front of you and you had it on a pedestal. Obviously with your offhand you would rotate that pedestal about. Or you might have a model in your hand and you'd constantly rotate it about as you're sculpting to look at it from different vantage points. Uh, maybe obviously bring it closer to you, maybe zoom back out to get a just kind of a broader look and so on. That would be the natural way of working. But Imagine if you, again, you had it on a pedestal, but you had to activate the ability to even rotate it or, or move about the model with a button, an alt button. And then you had to take the same work hand that you have your sculpting tool, and you had to actually use that to move your model. Up. Let me hit the escape key to get out of this tool here. Yeah, you had to actually use your work hand to do the navigating. That would be rather odd, wouldn't it? And uh, even if you got used to it, it still would be nowhere near as natural as being able to use your offhand to rotate and move about the model. So let's go ahead and take a, a pragmatic look here at the actual process. If I wanted to paint on the front of the model here and now rotate to the side, I have to stop what I'm doing Okay, I could Alt key and rotate, but now look how far away as I rotate my cursor gets. I now have to move it back to the center of action and resume painting again. So even if I'm used to this, okay, one could get used to riding a horse and buggy if you had to. If that's all you had, you could get used to it. Okay, it's better than walking. But now if you were offered a Corvette as opposed to riding a horse and buggy, which one would you take? So, again, stop, navigate, stop, navigate, move my cursor back into position, stop, navigate, move my cursor back into position and resume. So you can see how this is a big time drain, not to mention it's actually quite unnatural. And getting used to it doesn't remove that. Now with a 3D connection device I'll do the other side. Notice how far away my cursor gets from the center of action. It never does. Even if I stop for a second. Okay, if I paint and want to paint on the opposite side a similar spot like this, I can keep my cursor right over the action. I'd never have to move it away. That's exactly how you would work in a fine art studio environment. If you had a model that you were painting on, a, a literal you know, clay model, if you were applying paint to it, you would work this way. You would keep uh, without even thinking about it, you would rotate with your off hand and move your working hand into position simultaneously. And that's exactly how it works with a 3D connection device. Now, let's take another look here, and that is, work, let's work with some splines, for example. I can create points while moving to other vantage points simultaneously. I don't have to stop. Again, I can keep working this way. And now hit the Enter key. And you, you can see the advantages here. Now if I were to try to do this the old school way without a 3D connection device, I'll hit Escape to start a new shape. And I have to stop what I'm doing. I can't even see the, the shape anymore. And it's just not a very good way of working. Okay, you have to stop. 
use my working hand to do the navigating and then move it back into position. Okay, so at this stage I think you get the idea. So we're going to conclude this video uh, here in the paint room and move on to the next video where we will cover some samples in the moxosculpting room as well as the retopple room. So stay tuned and thank you for watching.